What's up, guys? It is. What's J Beebs? And we're having a little bit of a. Uh, this is pretty much a wrap up episode. There is, I think, two games left in the league. In the league, but you can't get European football. And I think all it's really left to do is just play it out. We're pretty clearly one of the better, one of the top sides in the league now. It's just a matter of, I would guess, say, solidifying, solidifying a solid position in the league heading into next season. Sign, we're not going to sign him. Oh, we'll sign a nice young goalie. Felix Chevalier, a five foot eight defensive mid. Let's switch him to center mid, and then we can promote him to the first team. Which will clear up space to sign. Uh, that guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So I just won't bother trying to, as of ye now. Ugbo, I'm going to be honest with you. I could care less about you right now. I'm sorry, but I, you're not in my plans in any way. Actually, I think we're going to keep him at left back because he has a high attacking work rate. Tie game. I'd have got a goal. I think I highly doubt anyone's going to take Hotich's uh, goal scoring title Good, we got no swap deal. No, I don't. Um, I'm getting rid of you, Warless, and I think you've played a total of two games for me. Good, and there's no swap deal. Final game of the season. Not gonna play it. 2 2 draw. Huh? Oh, what's this? What is this? Playoff round? Huh? So this teams are competing for what? A championship. While these teams are 
try not to be the worst team and get relegated. So what are we? What are we playing for? I play each team twice. And we're tied on points with two of the other teams. Well, this is just throwing a curveball my way. I wasn't planning on playing any games, but... I guess we're going to. Good. Ida's up to a 68. Hotich, I mean, he's still, he's still amazing. Has to be 71. Ooh. Same prospect will loan him out. Smet, we'll keep him on the bench. Ship leader's not good. Let's get into this game, boys. We're going to get revenge. Because there's no way they should have beat us last time. There's no way we're going to let them beat us this time. Travel to Ghent this time. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback, Lee Dixon. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of Dixon with their respective league seasons about to get underway. See, I have no clue how the, this is working. Well, thank you, Derek. Brilliant atmosphere here today. All that hard slog in pre season, all aimed for this game. First game of the season, all that preparation. It's for this, it's for this 90 minutes. I don't think they made any changes to their squad. And I don't plan on making any to our own. Look at the Hogas is in. Furcolate. That's one of the changes we've made. Let's just get a nice let's just get a nice easy win here boys. Dino Arslan 
baggage. Sven Coombs with it. So a throw in here. Dino Hotic. Oh, I wanted to play Hotic. Oh, great, they're coming at us now. The one thing I did not want this game to turn into is a back and forth counter attacking battle. Because their players are. They're good. And our players are good too, but. Yes, Ida, what a run. What a finish. I'm telling you, Ida is going to go down as the best transfer that we, this team has ever made. Jeez. Good challenge, Bates. Long switch. Let's go. Ah, uh, that was not the ball that was, that was intended to go to. Ooh. Wait, what? Handball. <sighs> Guys, a little bit of background on what I did today. Showborn Career Mode, Episode 9, recorded today. I recorded a Madden video. I also recorded all episodes of this series, starting at Episode 6 today. And I don't know what it is, but it is just starting to put me to sleep. I am starting... Feel the effects. Sitting in front of my monitor in my bedroom all day. Just sitting here playing FIFA. Not like real gamers know. They hit that, kind of hit that point where it's like, I, mean, I can't stop playing, but my body just, my body's done playing. My eyes are starting to get heavy. I can feel yawns coming on. So I'm here slaving away for you guys, so you guys better like the video if you're still watching by now. Also subscribe if you haven't, depending on what channel you're watching this on. If you're watching this on my JB Plays FIFA channel, we will get daily uploads of FIFA content. What a goal by Hortich, by the way. If you're watching this on my JB's Plays channel, four videos a day. Usually they're grouped together by, like, it'll probably be four, four of, e of the series. If you're watching on my JB's 
Games channel, then you're, it's likely that and this video is just randomly mixed in there. I think at this point, it, with the scheduling, I think it's like a FIFA video, then a Madden video, then a FIFA video, then a Madden video. Or if you're watching this on my every everything JB's channel, first off, I love you. And if you don't know what that is, basically, it's a YouTube channel where I have literally put every single vi every single video I have ever released on YouTube into onto one channel. There is more than four, like, and I'm also timing it up so that it's non-straight, non-stop content. But kid you not, not including any of the series that I'm currently doing, as well as two entire whole series I've also finished, there is already four whole days, like four and a half days straight of video stuff for you to watch. So you can go check that out. Basically, it's just where you can see every single video I've ever posted. Pretty cool. Oh no! Cross it in. Eat. Eat. I also have some. Uh, dep again, depending on what channel you're watching this on. If you're watching this on my main channel, which I'm assuming most of you are, because that's where I seem to get most of my traffic and views from, it posted in the about the discussion forum thing uh asking you guys a question simply uh one of them is what time do you want me to upload like i know obviously everyone's different but it would just be nice to get a little bit of a uh, feedback from you guys as to what i should do also there's a uh, video out on my channel that i'm assuming i haven't looked at the results yet but basically i ask you guys you know what? What uh? What should I do with my next series on? Divided down to four Premier League teams and four styles of videos. Because evidently, at the end of the day, I make content for you guys. I can't also say, in the summer. So like, obviously, June, July, and August, having some pretty uh unique things because I'm hoping by my birthday May 23rd I have a PlayStation 5 because I have some stuff that I want to some cool things that I want to do on FIFA but I don't want to start this series because I mean if we're being honest not this not the Circle of Bruges one because this is I mean it's an episode a month but like the Old Ham or Cambridge United or Shelbourne or Wellington, well, not Wellington Phoenix. I'll finish that one. But like the, yeah, I mean, Cambridge United and Oldham definitely will not be finished. Because I mean, I'm not going to sit here and play over 300 games. Actually, you no, know, probably more like 500 games just to get to the Premier League. But those are really just like time fillers. It's easy series to record, and they're kind of interesting. But the old ham athletic one, or not the, the Wellington Phoenix one, I will be finishing the regular season and playing the playoffs. Basically, if I don't win, I don't win. Then there's also the the Shelbourne one. If I win the league, I win the league. If I win the cup, I win the cup. If I don't, oh well. But the things I'll be doing on once I get the PlayStation 5 version of FIFA. Is there's this a there's this YouTube channel Tifo Football? I'm not sure if you guys watch it. If you don't, you should. They post obviously soccer slash football related stuff. And one of the things that they've done is they they do some videos where they ex like explain tactics. One of the things that I really loved that they did is they did tactics explained. They went through like World Cups, so like uh, like. 1982 to 
1930 to 1956. So I will essentially be using, I mean, they really only cover like the big teams like this last World, oh geez, last World Cup they probably, they would cover, I'm mean, assuming France, Croatia, just because they're the finalists, but like if they make any, uh, if they make any special uh, adjustments, I mean obviously football's changed so much. So I will be Basically, I can guarantee you, I'm basically doing a series. One of them is with Harrogate Town, where I will be using tactics, and I'll be trying to replicate and play like that World Cup winning side in England. Now, obviously, don't know exactly how effective everything's going to be, considering tactics. I mean, I'm also using uh, tactics from Uruguay, I think it was in 1930. The new thing that won, that won the first ever World Cup. So, you know, I actually, I don't know exactly how effective uh, the uh, 1930s version of things will go, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. I mean, they played a 2 3 5. I mean, I've used it before. It is actually quite fun and interesting, just kind of like. Do a little road to glory built around that style. I'm also be doing a Manchester United rebuild where I play like the trouble winning side from 1998-1999. As well as that, I'm also doing a couple of other old tactics like that. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any just like basic career modes. Mostly because nothing will ever be able to replicate the success and the, the amount of joy I've been able to have doing this one with Circle of Bruges, nice close on their summers. So that's going to be pretty interesting just to really to see how things are going to end up going. Yeah, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to talk to you guys about Madden stuff because, well, you know, this is, this, is FIFA, this is FIFA, but, like, if you guys want, like, I also plan to do, I might during the summer, uh, revamp my, uh, some of my other, one of my other channels, the Talking with JB, basically, where I, I sit there and I talk about stuff, and it's kind of like a, kind of like mini podcast, videos are never usually more than five minutes long. See, I mean, I think it's pretty interesting. And hopefully once this channel starts getting bigger, then that channel will get bigger as well. I mean, just as a little uh, viewpoint thing, this, today's date, I'll check in a second once Ida scores a goal. Today's date is the 12th of March, 2020. And my channel is currently on... 21 subscribers. So, I hope that by the time this is coming out, I hope to have precisely 27 subscribers. I would, I, one year anniversary, I think this is coming out afterwards, was April the 4th. So, I would... My goal, as I've said, on this channel and other channels, is to have 25 subscribers in our first year. I think that's a pretty realistic goal to catch, and a pretty reasonable one as well.
nice win for us. If you guys also like me, like, talking, like, behind the back, like, I know, really, like, the only, the real ones are still watching at this point. So, I mean, you know, good guys, a little bit of a perk, you know, keep watching. If you guys want me to, like, keep sharing guys' secrets. So, where the channel's going. I I might start doing that. I might start putting in, like, random clips, like, after, like, five minutes of a video, basically saying, by the way, here's what to expect when I, this video is uploaded, what's going to come out tomorrow and when. You know, I might try something like that. You keep the fans engaged. Merci d'être venu à cette conférence. Je pense qu'on va pouvoir débuter. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui, merci. Hmm. Oh, I was hoping we could win that one. For a second, like I, st I still don't even know what we're playing for. Orlison, I'm not discussing contract matters with you. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to conclude this episode of the Circle of Bruges crew mode series. If you're still watching, I love you. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And it is JB's signing off.